Have you ever wondered how PLCs control devices with varying signals, like motors or valves? In today's episode, we will be giving you a basic overview of the types of PLC inputs and outputs used in industrial automation. Whether you're a beginner or have some experience, this video will help you work more effectively with PLC input and output devices. Let's dive in. Before diving into the details, let's look at some real-world scenarios we need to monitor and control using PLCs. We will also explore the types of sensors used for inputs and the actuators controlled via PLC modules. For example, consider monitoring the temperature in a tank. Here, an RTD sensor is used. Let's check out the signal type it sends. It typically has a range of values, making it an analog signal. Another example is detecting the presence of a package on a conveyor belt. A photoelectric sensor is used in this case. The signal received by the PLC can only have two possible values, present or not present. This is a digital signal. Later, we'll discuss in detail how a PLC identifies digital signals. Now think about operating a pneumatic cylinder controlled via a solenoid valve. The PLC output here has only two possible states, on or off. In PLC terminology, this is called a binary signal. One more example is operating an induction motor through a variable frequency drive. The VFD receives signals from the PLC to control the speed of an AC motor by varying the frequency and voltage supplied. Here, the PLC sends an analog signal to the VFD to regulate the motor speed based on the application's control requirements. So, you might have encountered two terms, digital signal and analog signal. If you are not familiar with these two terms, don't worry, we will explain these concepts in a simple manner. Let's get started. In PLC systems, signals are categorized into two main types, analog and digital. Let's explore what digital and analog signal are and how they function. A digital signal represents two states, on and off, high or low, true or false. It detects the presence or absence of a condition or the state of a device, like whether an indicator bulb is on or off. This signal is derived from the binary number system, using only two possible digits, 0 and 1. In PLC systems, these states are interpreted as false and true. Unlike digital signals, Analog signals can represent a continuous range of values. They have the capability to represent a wide range of values within their specified range. Examples of analog signals include temperature, pressure, and flow rate. Now you have basic idea. What is digital signal and analog signal? Let's take a moment to get an overview of PLC input and output types. Then we'll dive deeper into each topic. PLC input signals can be categorized into two main types, digital signals and analog signals. Similarly, PLC output signals can also be categorized into analog signals and digital signals. Digital output signals can be further divided into relay type and transistor type outputs. PLC digital input signals represent two states, on and off, these signals are received from digital field devices such as push buttons, photoelectric sensors, proximity sensors, and limit switches. Simply put, a digital field input device acts as a normally open or closed contact, like a switch with on and off states. But how does a PLC identify whether these input signals are on or off, or if the contact is open or closed? To understand this, Let's look at how a digital field input device is connected to a PLC input pin. In the diagram, 24 DC voltage is supplied to the PLC input pin via the input device. When the input device is closed, the PLC receives 24 volts. This 24 volt signal is detected by the PLC as a 1 or an ON condition. Conversely, when the PLC receives 0 volts, it detects this as an OFF state or 0. Another type of PLC input is the analog signal. Analog PLC input devices provide two types of signals, current signals or voltage signals. But how does a PLC identify whether the analog device is providing a signal in normal condition? The PLC analog module identifies whether it is receiving a signal by measuring the current and voltage from the connected input device. The standard current and voltage ranges might be 0 to 20 milliamperes, 
4 to 20 mA, 1.5 DC, or 0 to 10 DC. One advantage of using a current mode input is that it can transmit signals over long distances without significant loss. Voltage signals, on the other hand, might be altered when transmitted over long distances due to electrical noise from other wires and the resistance of the signal wire. Just like the PLC input module, the PLC output module emits signals as either digital or analog signals. These digital signals can be further categorized into two types, relay type outputs and transistor type outputs. PLC relay type outputs work similarly to normal relays, with the key difference being that the coil is energized by the PLC unit or program. Therefore, PLC relay type signals can switch both AC and DC loads, such as motor starters and pneumatic solenoid valves. These types of output devices receive digital signals. Transistor type outputs, on the other hand, are typically used for switching DC loads. Like traditional transistors, these come in two types, NPN or PNP. Examples of transistor type outputs include driving small DC motors and controlling lights. PLC analog outputs are used to send variable signals to control devices that require a range of values rather than simple on-off states. These signals can be either voltage or current and are used to control devices that need precise adjustments. Example of PLC analog output devices are variable frequency drives and control valves. Today we discuss the basics of PLC inputs and outputs. Understanding the different types of inputs and outputs available in a PLC is crucial for effective module utilization. PLC input signals come in two types, digital input and analog input. Similarly, PLC output signals are also of two types, digital output and analog output. Digital output signals can be further classified into relay type output and transistor type output. Analog signals are transmitted as either voltage or current signals.